name is Melanie Wilkinson, and I am one of the exercise instructors here at Squirk It and More. And you are tuning in to our Facebook Live uh, virtual arthritis exercise class. So welcome, and I'm so glad that you're here today. And if you have any questions or comments or reviews, go ahead and chat us in using the comments, and then go ahead and give us a like, uh, just letting us know that you're with us today. We'd love to hear from you since we can't see you or be in the same room with you today. We'd like to at least hear from you and see how you're doing. Um, for today's class, all you need is a nice sturdy chair on a non-slip environment in your home. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and grab a pair of dumbbells. They're not needed, um, but if you want a little extra weight, you can grab those if you have them at home. And if you don't, water bottles or canned food items, anything that you can easily hold on to that adds a little bit of weight, that would work well for our weighted portion today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and have a seat in that sturdy chair of yours and sit towards the front part of the room. Nice, so we just kind of want to tune into our posture here. So let's plant those feet firmly down onto the floor. Knees are right under, right over our ankles and we're just going to sit up nice and tall. We can let our hands rest on our lap. We can even hold the side of our chair if that helps us keep a nice posture here. So we want to keep a neutral spinal posture. Basically, you just want to keep your spine nice and straight. So up and down, no curving or arching of the spine. So we're just going to sit up nice and tall. And let's take three deep breaths in together just to tune into the body and just kind of notice how we're feeling and try to think about where that air is going. So let's take a deep breath in. So you might notice your collarbone lifts, your chest lifts, maybe your core engages a little bit, and then let's take an exhale. Good, that collarbone comes back down, maybe your belly button comes in. Very nice. One more deep breath in. And out. All right, third breath in. And out. Good. All right, let's drop those hands down by the, by the sides of your body. And we're just going to take a nice, long overhead arm raise. So we're going to reach out and then up and overhead. And if up and overhead isn't available to you, go ahead and reach out in front instead. Take a deep breath in as you reach up. And then we'll turn those palms down and press them out and down as we exhale. Good. Let's do nine more of those. So deep breath in, overhead or out in front. Palms face each other. And then an exhale, turn your palms away, press your arms down. Good. Inhale, bring it up. That's two. Exhale, bring it out. Good. Up for three. And out. Up for four. And out and down. Good. Five. Deep breath in, reaching up. And exhale, bring it down. Good. Up for six. You guys are doing great. Out and down with those palms. Bring it up. Seven. Just two more here. All right. Eight. And down. Nine. Good. And down. We're going to turn that into some big arm circles here just to get a nice full rotation in that shoulder. So reaching forward and then back. All right, let's stay with these nice big arm circles, moving at your own pace for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. We'll keep that left hand down. You can grab the side of your chair or, left, or let your hand rest on your thigh. We're going to bring your right arm up, trying to keep that bicep nice and close to the ear here. Shoulders are down and away. Deep breath in, spread your fingers out wide. Exhale, reach over to that left side. Good, holding this side bend for another five. Breathing through it for four, three, two, and one. Use a deep breath in to come all the way up. Exhale that arm down. Bring your left arm up on your inhale. Setting up your arms so your biceps close to your ear, shoulders are down your back. Another deep breath in here, and then let's fold over to that right side. Good. Constantly 
really stretching up and over for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to take an inhale, come all the way up, and then drop that left hand down. Good. We're going to do a second set of those big arm circles, this time starting with the left hand and reaching back and then forward, alternating those arms from left to right for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, great job. So we're going to bring our arms out to the side and bend at our elbows here. So we're going to keep a nice 90 degree bend here. So what we're going to work on is we're going to do a little bit of flowing here with our arms. So we're going to start by reaching down and back, okay? Then we're going to reach them all the way up. Then we're going to come halfway where we started and reach forward, letting our palms face each other. All right? So let me run through that one more time. So we'll start, palms facing down. We'll turn those hands down and back. Bring them all the way up. Stop halfway and reach forward, palms turn to face each other. All right, one more run through. So down, up, and forward. All right, move with me, we've got five of these. Here we go in three, two, one. Down, up, and forward, that's one. Bring it back, down, up, and forward, that's two. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you come back, down, up, and forward. That's three. Squeeze them. Down, up, and four. Good. Squeeze them. Down, up, and five. All right. Drop those arms. Shake them out. I'm sure that warmed up your shoulders, warmed up your arms a little bit. So let's work those legs. So go ahead and kick those legs out hip width apart, toes are pointed at you. You can hold on to the side of your chair here, or you can keep your hands on your lap or up on the chest level here. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, and then a nice soft bend in the knee. We're gonna point those toes and then flex them back at us. So sitting up nice and tall, even though we're working our ankle joints, we still wanna keep that nice posture, and we're still working our core here just by sitting up nice and tall. So pointing, and flexing. All right, so we've got 10 sets in three, two, one. Here we go. Point and flex. That's one. Good. Point and flex. Two. Point, flex. That's three. Point, flex. That's four. Point, flex. Five. Point, flex. Six. Point, flex. Seven, eight, nine. Last one. And ten. All right, so leave those, let, leave those toes nice and flexed here. And we're gonna bring our hands up this time. So bringing our hands up, spread those fingers out nice and wide. This time as you point those feet, go ahead and bring your fingers down and reach towards your wrist. Good, then as we flex, we're gonna open back up and reach those palms upward. All right, so we've got 10 sets. Moving in three, two, one, here we go. Point and down, flex and up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're going to keep these arms up, but this time we're going to bring our hands down to our hip creases so we still have our our elbows coming out to the side, okay, so nice and tall here, and then we're going to widen our feet just a little bit. So we'll bring those toes together, and as we bring our toes inward, we're also going to round our back, bringing our elbows forward as well. So you should feel a nice stretch through your shoulder blades, and then you're going to open up and squeeze those shoulder blades as you reach your elbows back, and toes come out, all right? So one fluid movement, so we come in, and then out, and that's one set. So we've got 10, here we go, in three, two, one, come in, and out, that's one. Bring it in, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. Bring those 
hands back up and let's do wrist and ankle circles together. All right, for another five, four, three, two, and one. Switch that direction. Go the other way for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring those feet back underneath you, ankles directly underneath knees. Press down through your sitting bones, kind of readjust your sitting posture. Make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall. And then we're going to bring that right arm on top of the left, bringing our elbows up at shoulder height if we can. Sit up nice and tall here. We're going to do some trunk rotations. So we're going to take it to the right first. So leaning over to the right, going all the way out in front. So hinging over those hips, bringing it over to the left, and then back behind our hips. We're going to keep this nice circular motion here. So here we go. We're going to do five sets. So start in a nice, tall, seated posture here. And we'll move in three, two, one. Here we go. Right and forward to the left and past those hips. That's one. Good. Two. Three. That's four. We've got one more here. And five. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Good, we're gonna drop those arms down by the sides. We're gonna come into spinal balance. So start by heel tapping your right foot and reaching left, okay? So we've got that opposite hand coming to the opposite foot and then we switch. So we just keep alternating moving, just a nice fluid motion here, moving at your own pace and making sure you're sitting up nice and tall. If reaching opposite hand to opposite foot is just really messing you up today, just stick with the same side, okay? All right, so here we go. We're gonna stay here for another 10, Nine, find that rhythm, find your groove. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And rest, take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, take your left hand and bring it on top of your right arm. Elbows are shoulder height here. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, deep breath in. And then we're gonna lean it over to the left to start this time, all the way out into the front right and then back behind those hips all right so here we go move with me in three two one we've got five so left around the front all the way to the right and then back that's one two three four and five Sitting up nice and tall, finish out strong, good. Take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, set two of spinal balance. So when you're ready, we're gonna tap those heels and reach forward and back. Opposite hand moves with opposite foot unless you wanna work same side together. So here we go, we've got another 10, nine, eight. Sit up tall, swing those arms, tap those heels. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and rest take a deep breath in and let it go all right good work we're going to widen those legs to hip width if we let them in any and then bring our hands to the insides of our thighs take a deep breath in and then as you exhale we're going to come into a nice butterfly stretch and then hinge you forward good if you feel any tightness here maybe hanging out here a little bit longer just just feeling that tightness opening that up letting that tension release and then we'll come all the way back up, bring those legs in, and let's do three more. So we'll come out to a butterfly and hinge forward. Bring it up. Good, two more, butterfly. All right, coming forward. And last one. And hinging forward. Very nice, all right, we'll come back up, nice and tall. Good, and we're gonna work on those hip walk out. So let's move with just our legs to start our first set. So with that right leg, we're going to take a high knee and then take it out to the side, bring it back in and switch to the left. You want to try to stay facing forward the whole time here. And if you feeling good, move with your hands. You can let your hands move with your thighs here, or you can hold onto the side of your chair the whole time. All right, so here we go. We've got um, 20. So we'll do 10 on each side and count up to 20. 
count with me at home and here we go we're gonna move in three two one let's go right side one left side two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's your halfway mark you guys got this that's 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20. All right, good work, guys. We're going to do a second set of that, and this time you have the option to move your hand with your leg. So as you open up to the right with your leg, you would also open up that hand, bring it all the way back in, and then switch it out to the left. All right, so set two. Here we go in three, two, one. Right side, left side, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, almost there, eighteen, nineteen, last one, and twenty. Take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, good work, guys. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're gonna move a little bit faster for our skater switches. So to start, you're gonna kick your right leg out. You're up on your toes the whole time here. So you're gonna take that right hand, reach towards your left foot, and then reach back with your left, and then you switch it up, okay? So you've got right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot, okay? And then that opposite leg is extended. So just kind of finding your rhythm, finding your groove. Keep your breath here. Keep awareness in that breath. Make sure you're breathing through this one. All right, so that was your practice. And now we've got the real deal. We're going to do 10 of those starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Extend the right leg. Reach towards the left foot. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great work, guys. Now that we kind of know what we're doing, we're in the groove. See if, now that you understand how to move, see if you can increase your speed a little bit and still keep your good form. So we've got our second set in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great work, guys. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Okay, third and final step. Move at your own pace. Try to keep that breath work. Try to keep that form. And here we go. In three, two, one. Let's move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, take a deep breath in and let it go. It's over. You're done. No more skater switch today for that matter. All right, if you want a quick drink of water, go ahead and grab it. And we're going to kind of stretch this out a little bit here. So we're going to take that right leg out, extend it out. Toes can point forward. Left knee stays right into the midline, that 90 degree bend in your knee. We're going to take our right hand, slide it down. Extend your left hand out to the side. Let's reach on over to that right side for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. All right, and release. Bring that right knee in this time. Now we're going to work that left side. Extend that left leg out. Let your left hand slide down. Right arm comes out to the side. Let's bring it up and over for five, four, three, two, one. And one, all the way up, and release. Go ahead, take a deep breath in, and let it go. All right, guys, extend your feet forward. We're gonna do a little core work here. So extending those feet forward, we can leave a nice soft bend through our knee here, and then extend your arms forward as well. So we wanna to try to keep um, our hands
hands, our wrists, our elbows, and shoulders in one straight line here. So go ahead and kind of squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you're going to feel yourself kind of move your shoulders back, kind of locking in there, soft through the knees, keeping that chest lifted here. And then you're going to hinge back right when you start to feel that belly get a little warm. That's your core telling you that it's working. So we're going to keep lifting up to that chest, leaning back, and we're going to hinge all the way forward. Good. And then come all the way back. All right. So that's one. We've got 10. Here we go. Forward and back. Good. Two. Nice. Try to keep that core engagement. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Last one. Ten. All right. Drop those arms. Roll out those shoulders if that feels good for you. And then we're going to tuck those feet back underneath us. Go ahead and kind of heel toe your legs out nice and wide. All right, so we're going to practice some sit to stands before we come all the way up into our standing portion of today. So what I'd like you to do is if you have a, um, I'm going to use my weight, but if you have another object or your weight or your water bottle, whatever, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this is your after workout snack. All right, so you're going to tap that snack. I'm coming for you after class. Just kind of tap it. Give us some good energy, right? And we're going to do that before we sit and before we stand every time. So what that's going to help us do is it's going to help us hinge forward. And then we're going to tap it down before we sit. All right? So we're going to alternate those hands. So what it's going to look like is tap, good, tap to sit down, and then left. Okay? All right. So that's going to help us engage and really sit up nice and tall here. All right. So we've got 10 sets. So here we go, we're gonna move, go at your own pace, practice on your form, make sure you know where your chair is when you sit down. So here we go in three, two, one, let's move. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, guys. Here we go. And ten. And you know what? Just stay here. All right. Good work. Let's move into our standing portion. So go ahead. If you use the weight or anything, really, go ahead and move that so it's not in your way for the standing portion. And this would be a nice time to take a sip of water if you'd like. Then we will stand behind our chairs. All right, so let's set up by standing about hip width apart. Both toes face forward, or if your hips feel a little tight today, you can extend your toes outward a little bit, okay? But we're just gonna get a feeling on our feet. So let's start to roll up to those toes, keep your hands on your chair, and then roll back to those heels. Good, roll them up and then back to the heels. Nice, roll up onto the toes, back to the heels. Let's do three more, toes and heels, toes and heels. Keep a good standing posture here, toes and heels. All right, nice. Let's get the arms working out here too, so we can either reach out in front or overhead, if that's okay for your shoulder. So as we come up to our toes, we're gonna do that reach forward or overhead, as we come back to our heels, swing that arm back and then switch. All right, let's do six of those. Here we go, right side up and back. That's one, left side, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now that we're in the groove, let's add a step back. So when we step our right foot back, we're gonna lift our left hand up or forward. You can stay on the ball of your foot as you step back, or you can bring it all the way down, okay? So your options are gonna be here, 
plank, or flat foot. All right, so now that you know, let's move and groove. We're gonna stay on that right side for four, and then switch over to the left. And three, two, one, right side, one. Left hands up, two, three, four. Okay, now switch, other side, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do one more set. Let's do a total of 10 this time. Now that we've figured out the movement, see if you can increase your speed a little bit with keeping good form. And this time as we move through the 10 sets, we're gonna go from right to left, okay? So here we go, three, two, one, right foot, one, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great job, guys. Good work. Okay, so we're going to do um, a step to the right. So we're going to still move with that arm. So we're going to lift our knee up nice and tall. You can kind of come towards the right side of your chair or just bring yourself enough space in between you and the chair. We're going to bring that knee up land our foot a nice wide step out to the right and we're going to reach with it okay so we're going to bring it all the way in and then all the way out all right so move with me we've got four of these in three two one right knee good one two three four good all right take a side step over towards the left Setting yourself up to do the same exercise on the left side. Moving in three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, and back in. All right, so this time we're gonna try to alternate. So we'll go right, back in, and left. Make sure you're standing far enough away from your chair to where you don't hit your knee on your chair. So here we go, but close enough to where you can hold on to your chair. Moving in three, two, one, right side. One, left side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, good work. Okay, so we're going to take a side step over towards the right, and then we're going to bring our right foot in front of our left. So we're in a nice little split stance here, still close enough to our chair to where we can hold on to it for stability. And what I want you to think about is we're gonna come into our rocking horses. So we're gonna bring our right foot up first. As you plant that right foot, you're gonna lift up through your left, okay? So you're just gonna kind of rock back and forth here at a pace that works for you. And if you feel good about your balance, go ahead and work your arms with this exercise too, okay? All right, so we're gonna get started. We've got 10 of these in three, two, one. Here we go, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, step that right foot back to meet the left. And then this time we're going to just kind of explore our balance a little bit. So standing close enough to your chair to where you can use your chair for your balance. And we're gonna tune in to our whole entire left foot here. So we're gonna kind of make sure we have a soft knee, bringing our weight into that left side, propping up your right foot. Good. And then if you wanna to continue to bring your foot up, if it feels good, go ahead. And then focus on standing up nice and tall. Focus on engaging your core. And we'll stay here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Good, drop that foot back down, shake it out. All right, so keeping the weight on that right, that left leg, we're gonna come into a toe tap with the right foot, forward, and then a toe tap back. All right, so we're just gonna keep moving that leg forward and back. You can pump your arms while you're moving, or you can keep one on your chair, okay? So move with me, here we go. We've got 10, three, two, one, let's go. Toe tap forward and back, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you got it, and ten. Good work, guys. All right, shake that out. Okay, one more exercise, and then we'll move to the other side. So this time, we're going to toe tap, but we're going to cross back behind our left leg. So toe tap, cross, and then toe tap, extend it out. So it's going to look like one, and then out, and then two, and out. All right, so move with me. We've got 10 going in three, two, one. Let's move, cross, and extend it out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, shake it out and let's march. So march that off, march it off, march it off. You can keep your hand on your chair, you can bring it up, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then we're gonna start to march over to that left side. So make sure you have enough room between you and the chair to start your side march. All right, so we're gonna keep moving over to that left side. And then we're going to plant that left foot in front of the right. Split stance here, feet are hip width apart, both toes face forward. Hands can reach, easily reach your chair so that you can use it if you need to. And then we're gonna do those rocking horses. So your rocking horse is gonna look like lifting that left foot, plant it, and then move into the right. So up and up. So alternating from front leg to back leg. And here we go, we've got 10 of these in three, two, one, let's move. Left foot and then right, that's one, up, and up, that's two. You can move your hands with you if you'd like. Three, four, halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, go ahead and step your left foot back to meet your right. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Okay, so we're going to do our little balance test on our right leg this time. So we're going to bring our weight into our right foot by propping our left foot up a little bit. Keep a nice soft bend through your right knee and stand nice and tall through your hips up. So we're going to engage that core, shoulders are down away from the ears, chest is lifted, and then maybe if we feel comfortable, we'll take our left foot off of that floor and standing tall for another 10, 9, 8, Seven, catch your breath, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, drop that foot, shake it out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do those toe taps this time. So hands can be on the chair, doesn't have to be, whatever your balance level of confidence is today. So we'll take that left foot, we'll tap it forward, and then tap it back, so toe taps forward and back. If you want to pump your arms, you can pump your arms. If you want to just move one hand, keep the other on the chair. Here we go in three, two, one. We've got 10 sets. Let's go one and two. Forward and back. That's three. One and two. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, good work guys. Shake that off a little bit. And here we go. We've got the cross toe tap and then extending it out to the side. Okay, so cross and out. All right, let's move in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten all right good job guys shake that out shake that out and then we're going 
make sure you start our marching again. So we'll get that marching going. Hand can rest on your chair or arms can pump with your marching up at top. Let's check into our posture. Make sure we're staying up nice and tall. Good. And then let's make enough room so that we can start our side march back over to that right side. Good. Keep those knees up. Keep those feet up for another five, four, marching in place, three, two, and one, and rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Good work. All right. We're going to take that left hand, bring it to the chair. Make sure you have enough space between you and your chair for our leg swing. So we're going to cross that right leg up and out. So it's going to come over and out. All right. So once you're ready, go ahead and join me. And we've got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, let's march. Marching in place for another five, four, three, two, one. Side march to the left. Good. Once you've made it to your spot, we'll stay marching in place for five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Good. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Firmly plant that right foot down. Chair is close enough that you can hold on to it. So far enough away that you can get your leg swing going on that left side. So here we go. Go ahead and join me. And we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And rest. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. All right, let's march. Good. Marching in place for five, four, three, two, one. To the right and stop when you get behind your chair and stay there for another five, four, three. March, 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 two, one, and rest. Take a deep breath in and let it go. All right, guys. We're going to move back to our seat and grab your weights or the weighted object that you're going to use at home. But before you do that, go ahead and grab yourself a quick sip of water. Okay, good. Go ahead and grab both of those weights once you're ready. And then scoot back into your chair. So we want to sit nice and back into our chair, protecting our spine here and sitting up nice and tall. All right, so we're gonna drop those weights down by the sides, okay? And we're just gonna come into an alternating curl. So we'll start with that right hand. We're gonna turn and rotate that wrist, coming all the way up, and then turn and rotate it as we come down. Same thing, left side. So we're gonna do an alternating curl here, okay? So move with me, we've got 20 total. So that's 10 on each arm. Starting in three, two, one. One, and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway point, number 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, we're going to get ready for our activated march. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bend at those elbows, draw the weights halfway up. So you want to keep your elbows in nice and tight, shoulder blades are squeezed together, chest is lifted, and we're going to march. We've got this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Draw those weights up towards your shoulders here. Good. Take a deep breath in and let it go. All right. So for our next exercise, you can either go out in front, okay, or you can go overhead. So whichever way works best for your body and what you want to do today. And we've got 20 of these, starting in three, two, 
One, here we go. I'm gonna go overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, rest those weights down on your lap, throw your shoulders up to your ears, and then down your back. Good, we're gonna do a little bit of leg lifts here. So moving with that right leg, you can put no weights, or if you'd like to add weight, you can put one or both of your weights onto your right leg. Left hand can rest on the side of the chair or on your lap, and then we're gonna kick that foot up, flexing our toes, and then tapping our toes as we come down. So one, and down. All right, so move with me in three, two, one. Here we go, up for one, and down. Got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, guys, let's give that right leg a rest and move to the left. So same thing here, set up your weights on your left leg. And if you need to adjust your weights, go ahead and do so. Take a deep breath in and then let's move. And, and here we go, we've got one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, great work, guys. Go ahead and take one weight into each arm. Lower them down by your sides. Sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take a hip walk and hip walk ourselves all the way up, one hip lifting at a time towards the front of your chair. Good, hinge forward. Keep your shoulder blades squeezed together. Back is still straight, it's not curved in any way. Just hinging forward. And we're just gonna move our weights, keeping our weights nice and close to our body, keeping our elbows in nice and tight as well. We're just gonna roll up and then down. Good, for two and down. Three and down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, lower those weights all the way down, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna hip walk it all the way back to the back of our chair, hip walk, hip walk. Very nice, okay, lower one weight down, and then take your other weight, take both hands around the ends of the dumbbell or your water bottle, make sure that lid's on tight, and we're gonna lift that weight up over our head here. So we're, we're not fully extended, we still have a nice bend in our elbows, sitting up nice and tall, and we're gonna start our halos, right? So we're gonna go over towards the left, around the back of the head, and around to the right and front. Good, so move with me. Here we go, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, let's go straight into that other side for five, four, three, Two, last one, finish nice and strong, and then we'll let that weight rest down. Good, all right, bring your hands in prayer. We're gonna take those fingers, bring them forward and down, and then up and towards you. Good, just keep moving forward and down, and then up and towards your chest. Nice, breathe, good, and just moving those wrists up and down for another five, four, three, two, and one. Good, point your fingers out, keep your hands in prayer, and we're gonna move those hands from the left to the right. Good, for another five, four, three, two, and one, good. Now see if you can clasp your fingers together, turn your palms out and away from you, and bring those hands up, 
and then reach it over to the left for five, four, three, two, and one, all the way back up to the center. Really reach up here and then over towards the right for five, four, three, two, and one, back to center. Good, take your hands to your left thigh. Go ahead and scoot yourself to the top of your chair and then extend that right leg out and hinge forward for five, four, three, two, and one, switch for five, four, three, two, one. Sit up nice and tall, extend your hands out to the sides. Good, take a deep breath in and out. Get a nice little shoulder blade squeeze here as you're reaching out to those opposite sides. And then turn your right palm up towards the ceiling, bend at the elbow, reach towards your left ear, lower your right ear towards your shoulder. And see if you wanna do arm circles on your left arm here. You can if you'd like for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna lower that left hand down, take our right index finger to our temple and poof yourself all the way back up to center. Go ahead and let your chin rest into your chest. Come all the way back up, extend those arms out nice and wide to the side again. Get a little shoulder blade stretch here and then turn your left palm up. Reach up and over towards your right ear, lower left ear towards your left shoulder. And if you'd like, arm circles with that right arm for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that right arm, left index finger to your temple and boop yourself all the way back up. And we're gonna take our hands to our lap, chin to our chest and take a nice slow roll forward coming all the way in, rounding through that back, and then coming all the way up, pressing into those thighs, lifting up through your chest. Good, let's do that one more time, rolling all the way down and forward, rounding through the spine, and then pressing into those thighs, arching up into the back, letting that chest, chest lift. Good, and sitting up nice and tall. Great job today, guys, great workout. You did an awesome and amazing job. I hope that you were able to tune in. And if you're catching us kind of towards the end, go ahead and watch this video at any time and let us know that you did. Give us a like, give us a comment, let us know that you were here with us today. And until you can really be in here with us, I'm gonna give all of you guys my virtual fitness fingers. Great job today, thanks.